Well, that's 48 tons that Travis Ortmeier is strapped to, Kaz. This is a huge task. Had a bit of a problem there at the start. When asked whether he was ready to go, he said no. Well, he's got it moving now. This is American Travis Ortmeier trying to put up the fastest time to beat. How do you like his technique so far? He's staying low, working hard. What a sight to behold. Travis Ortmeier strapped to 96,800 pounds. As he approaches the finish line, this will be the mark to beat. Pretty good so far, Kaz. It's great work. He's pulling hard on the rope. And he's done it. So Travis Ortmeier's time of 40.53 now becomes the benchmark in the plane pole. This is what it takes to get a 48-ton plane moving. From head to toe, Travis had to exert an amazing amount of force. Eventually, he got it rolling pretty good. That's just a super time. And that will take us to another American, Brian Shaw from Fort Lupton, Colorado. As the rain starts to fall, Brian's in fourth place overall, but Kaz, is this rain gonna affect Brian? It really shouldn't, Todd. The rain just started, and it hasn't made the surface slick yet. Plus, he's got big climbing boots, which should help with traction. So the mark he's shooting for is 40.53 seconds, put up by fellow okay, American moments ago, Ready. Travis Ortmeier. Ready, yes, yes! And the journey begins for American Brian Shaw amid adverse conditions. Guys, this is just a Herculean task. Remember, that's 96,800 pounds, more than 48 US tons. It's a tough pull, but if anybody can do it, Brian Shaw at 6'8", at 380 pounds, he's got it moving pretty good. Quick hands, Kaz, you gotta like that. He's a hard worker. You can just hear it with every breath and every step. Busting his tail. He's got a good pole going here. American Brian Shaw at the plane pole, trying to top the time of 40.53, and look at this. Dead even, 40-53, he ties Travis Ortmeier. You know the rain didn't seem to be a factor at the start. Brian was able to get his feet firmly planted and drive forward, because he stayed low. And at six foot eight, that's really hard to do. So Brian Shaw posts the identical time to Travis Ortmeier. The two men share the lead, and here's a look at what's at stake for Brian and the other nine men. The winner will leave Malta with $40,000. Second place is worth $15,000. Third will get someone $10,000. Todd, the money's secondary to these guys. The title of world's strongest man is what they're all Ladies after. Ladies and gentlemen, from Well, Terry Tom Hollins of England, England is the beneficiary Terry of some better Holland. weather. The sun is back out as the Englishman settles in for the 96,800 pound pole. Well, Todd, Ortmeier and Shaw put up some really great times. Okay, but they may the be in serious Terry. jeopardy. This Terry Hollins could be one of the best in the world at this event. And the mark to beat, 40.53, put up by both Americans, Brian Shaw and Travis Ortmeier. Guys, you talk about how good Terry Hollins is at this, why? Terry's a former rugby player. He's constantly pushing inside the scrum, and he's doing movements just like this. There's a lot of carryover. Well, Terry Hollins is doing just that. Remember, folks, that is 96,800 pounds or 48 U.S. tons. And Terry Hollins is going to do it. New mark to beat in the plane pole. 38.19 seconds for the big man from England. Come on! 